Welcome back, welcome back. I am Draven, this is my din, and we are playing PS Outer Swa or uh, Outer Tail. Gosh dang it, I already messed it up. <laughs> Outer Tail! It came out like 20 days early, so I did it 10 days late. <laughs> So, um, sorry. I mean, also, I had those terrible internet issues while the, um, the company was working on the internet towers. So, um, yeah, that's, that's why I wasn't able to stream that and I forgot. <laughs> so, and sorry if that was loud. Let's get into it. I'm excited. I haven't been spoiled on anything yet, but I assume... It's our regular Undertale fair, and honestly, I don't know anything about Outer Tale. Like, in the slightest. Two species- ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> As time passed, a war broke out between the two species. After the monster's home planet was destroyed, humans declared victory. Oh, man. The remaining monsters were banished to an abandoned outpost. Let me get that off the screen. A powerful force field was erected, and the monsters were sealed in. Many years later. Ebbet Sector. Twenty... <laughs> Tales speak of a place from which spacecraft never return. 500 years in the future, basically. 251X instead of 20... 1x. So we just crash on their planet? <laughs> or space station, basically? Outer tail. Oh, it looks so good. It's so pretty. Um, So this is made by Project Space Time. Hence the PS. Like the, like how, the uh, like how the Switch uh, Team Switched does it. With uh, their underswap, which I also am going into. I uh, I don't want to be spoiled on anything underswap either. Um, I am going to go into the full game blind whenever it is finished. Uh, for now, I it hurts me to do, but I got to avoid spoilers for it. Um. But yeah. Uh. Oh, it's the the background is the um is the Napster looks like when you go Ooh. But uh, uh yeah, I think that's about it for the preamble. I'm excited. I'm I've heard. Uh, to be fair, I have been slightly spoiled just because, you know, people's thumbnails and whatnot. Um and uh apparently there's like certain extra routes in the game or something uh which sounds interesting uh we're just going to do a pacifist neutral route first uh because if the game works the same way you know you're, you're forced into neutral route first if it works the same way that's what we're doing uh and then we'll and then we'll do true pacifist um just you know to save time if it works the same way as Undertale, but honestly, I have no clue. So, let's just get into it. I've been delaying this too long. Let me set up my chat. There we go. Let's put in our name. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a, I'm a, I have a total brain fart. It's these controls. They're a little they're a little wonky. I'll I'll say that. Um. Oh wait. Oh, duh, of course that's how it's done. Never mind. I was just being stupid. That's just how Undertale is. Uh, yes. We'll go with Draco, even though maybe it's Kara. If I, I I assume we're going the same same uh, way regular Undertale does. Okay. Come 
Sun? Oh, okay. What? Wait a second. What was this in the original game? Oh, right. That was where the phone was. Because I, I was like, I remember there being an option here. Okay, so... Rusty Spanner, worn spacesuit. Everything else pr is pretty much the same. Here we go. Undertale time. <laughs> Starry. <laughs> Howdy. I'm Twinkly. Twinkly the star. <laughs> he's even he's even stupider looking. I, I love it. <laughs> what brings you to the outpost, fellow traveler? You're lost, aren't you? Well, good thing I'm here for you. I haven't been in my top form for a while, but... Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. Guess little old me will have to do. Let's get started, shall we? That's your soul. Yes. I do a flowy voice, but I just can't. His voice is too high-pitched, and but you gotta get, like... You gotta get a certain high-pitched voice. Ah, I should do a voice. I just... Mmm, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Wait, level zero? I'm level... Why am I level... That, that's not how regular Undertale works. Huh. Interesting. Give me a sec. <laughs> I'm gonna actually mute myself for a second while I work on my voice for Flowey because I'm, I'm embarrassed. I tried. It was very embarrassing. Thank goodness you didn't hear it. Um, <laughs> let's just continue, and I'll just read it normally. I'm sorry. I'll try and do a voice for every other character, but I, oh, I can't do Flowey. I can't do him. <laughs> or Twinkly, in this case. Your soul is an important part of you and needs the love to sustain itself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I wish I could do a voice so bad, because I like, I like Flowey voices. Out here, love is shared through little white happiness shards. <laughs> of course. <laughs> to get you started on the right path, I'll share some of my own love. Try to get as many as you can. Whoops, I think you might have missed them. Oh, that's okay. Here, have some more. <laughs> I'll get hit on the last one. What the? Are you brain dead or something? Run into the bullets. He didn't change it like the regular Undertale. That's funny. <laughs> In this world, it's kill or be killed. That's the closest you're getting to a good flowy voice. Imagine a soul like yours crash landing on my doorstep. Did you really think I'd pass up such a golden opportunity? I wish I could do a higher pitched voice for him. Die! Wait, no. Yeah! Star fireballs. <laughs> what a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Thank you. <laughs> Have no fear, little one. I am Torsia. <laughs> Torsia. I am Torio, overseer of the Outlands. <laughs> Gosh dang it. <laughs> I come by every day to check for those who have been stranded here. Oh, follow me, child. There's much I intend to teach you. <laughs> God, it's too bad. This way. Ooh. 
The industrious Outlands lies ahead, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Nice. Oh. Welcome to our humble outpost, Innocent One. Yes, it's Space Goat Mom. <laughs> There are many lessons that I must teach you about life here. First and foremost, puzzles. Allow me to perform this quick demonstration. A little bit of an S. It may seem strange to you now, but here on the outpost, solving puzzles is a part of our daily routine. With time and a little guidance, you will grow accustomed to them. Oh, I just realized the text boxes also have stars. Oh, that's so cool. They should have made the black borders on the sides of the screen uh, stars, too, then. That would have been cool. Uh, yeah. When you're ready, we may proceed. Okay. I'm so used to Delta Traveler and and Undertale Yellow and Delta Rune. It's, it's weird to not have my run button anymore. <gasps> we have the Frisk Dance! The Murder Dance! That'll come and use... That's a helpful tool that'll help us later. <laughs> Even when you stumble, the will to push onwards, sh onwards shows through. I mean, I guess you could consider that a stumble. I feel like... I don't know. That feels weird. Boom. Forward. Like, like I get the idea. Oh, you stumble, so you're a little off. And you're a little off. But, I don't know. I guess. Unlike the puzzle beforehand, this one is a little different. It is rare, but certain puzzles, puzzles on the outpost require the assistance of another monster. Wait. Wait. What does this mean? We're going to have friends? Well, we're going to have like a Noel or, or a, a Susie? What? Ooh. Do you understand what we must do next? Yes, I got it. A good relationship requires trust and kindness to move forward. The answer does not lie with me, your little one. I got it. Boom. Very good, little one. Very good. Your turn. Try repeating what you have done before. Well done. Only one row to go. Hey, <laughs> now she's just looking at the button. Go on. <laughs> Uh, I love trolling Undertale characters. Yes, yes, I am proud of you, my child. Come with me when you are ready to begin your next lesson. Le lesson. God, I am having issues speaking today. Your next lesson involves encounters with other monsters. Uh, as a human roaming the outpost, it is uh, likely you will be attacked. Uh, if that happens, you'll enter what is known as a fight. Uh, thankfully, there are several ways to resolve one. For now, I suggest striking up a friendly conversation, thereby giving me a chance to sort out the conflict for you. Thank you. You may practice talking with the dummy. Yes. I feel like my voices always begin slipping with these. <laughs> um, you think that I am the dummy? Ahaha! <laughs> <laughs> How adorable. <laughs> Unfortunately, I am but a worrisome old lady. Nothing to be afraid of, my child. A simple training dummy. Dummy cannot harm you. I swear if it attacks me. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this music is good. Let's just jam for a sec. Yeah. Oh, by the way, is the audio good? Since you're in chat, if you're still awake. Is the audio good? I... I hope it's good. <laughs> I can. Uh, this is probably like the last chance to edit it. Well, probably. Um, but yeah. Let's check. There's some million options on this thing. A ghost within the shell. They hope they're you're doing well. See, it just gives it away here. Unlike in the in the other one where it's like, oh no, it's just a, it's just a dummy. The dummy looks like it's going to fall over. <laughs> I got no item. Spare. I thought it was doing more dots, but it doesn't look like it. Well, I guess we'll... <laughs> oh, flirt. Of course. 
I can see the I can see the Undertale influence on this Undertale fan game. <laughs> you talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel is pleased with you. Excellent. You appear to be quite the fast learner. Nice. Training dummy. Circa 251X. Citadel standard issue. So, relatively new. Unless it's talking about 251X as in that's when Kara came in. Which I think that is the case. Which implies that... Wh whatever. <laughs> Which, which means car, uh, Frisk comes in at like 20, zero, 20 XX or something. Anyway, do, 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 and potentially, it's potentially that like Frisk comes in like nearly a hundred years after because the boss monsters are immortal and none of the monsters really remember the time when Kara was around super well, I don't think. But none of them mention it, really. So, yeah, I imagine. I mean, to be fair, it was also, like, a big tragedy, and the monsters at the end in the Citadel do talk about it, but it's like, those people are the people who would know history the most. They're, like, right next to the castle. So who knows? Uh, whatever. I'm not here to do timeline analysis. Anyway, we're playing a different game. <laughs> It's also Undertale, but it's different. We're in space. In, the, in this room lies a new kind of puzzle. I keep putting my fingers on the wrong part of the keyboard. Do you think you could solve it? Um, okay. Oh. Frog it. Wow, okay. There are a lot more options in this game than regular Undertale. Which I, I can see, because it's like... Because it makes the puzzles of beating each individual monster harder. Though that's a lot of extra dialogue they had to put in. Rocket, attack 4, defense 5. Life is difficult for this monster. Hey, that's the regular Undertale stuff. <laughs> uh, thanks, Goat Mom. I didn't need the help, though. This terminal's staggering height towers over you, blocking your eager approach. What is the problem? Do you need assistance? Oh, I'm, I'm too short. Oh, <laughs> it seems there's a bit of a design fault here. So the terminal is uh, too high for you to reach it. Uh, no matter, I will operate it for you. How did the how do the froggets use this? The froggets are probably shorter than me. They're frogs. <laughs> ah, there is a riddle to be solved here. Would you like to try? Yes, solve the riddle. Excellent. The eagerness to learn and grow is important. Especially for your youngster, such as yourself. The riddle takes the form of a question. What's baked like a cake and rhymes with why? Really? Really? You tell Toriel the answer. Ah, very good. And with such a positive attitude. <laughs> that was... That was like... That was freaking stupid easy. <laughs> oh, yes. The, the one thing Toriel's known for, the... It's pie. <laughs> oh my goodness. And there, the pathway is clear. That was the simplest riddle I've ever heard. <laughs> Once ready, you may enter the next room. Alright, it is time for your third and final lesson. Uh, do you think you can make it to the end of this room? All by yourself? Yes or no. I can actually say something here. But also, it's funny. It's just, we updated the game. Instead of a straightforward hallway, it's diagonal. <laughs> it's so different from Undertale. I mean, so far, it's actually been pretty good. But that is that is hilarious. As that That's just that, that's what they changed. They made the long hallway diagonal. I mean, they also added this yes or no. This is a lot of extra additions, to be fair. But that is, that's just funny. Yes. All right. Good luck. Oh no, it's a zigzag hallway. Even better. <laughs> I like this music actually. Yeah. The music in this has been pretty good. You did it. She she wasn't even hiding. I mean, I guess she didn't have to. 
because the the hallway is all diagonal but like still but it's even but like in the original game her hiding wouldn't have even done anything because she was behind the pillar like for the player you can't see her but like there's no way frisk did not see toriel in the original game which is a really funny thing i just i i, I had to mention again nothing to do with this game <laughs> but here it's just like oh you turn the corner oh there she is <laughs> you did it no, do not worry. You were never in any real danger. This was merely a test of your independence. In truth, my child, there are important errands I must run. While I am away, I expect you to be on your best behavior. The puzzles ahead are yet to be explained, and... Ooh! Ooh! I wonder if they... If, if we boundary broke this game... W would Toriel do the same thing she does in regular Undertale, where she just walks off the map and keeps walking for all of eternity? I doubt it, because that's Toby's spaghetti code doing all that. Or does she actually walk through the whole hallway to get to this point? <laughs> Either way, that'd be friggin that'd be hilarious. I wonder. Oh, I can't wait for people to bound to uh, to <laughs> to break down this game and look through all its secrets. Oh, there's. Oh, I. If they have a Gaster stuff in here, oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> and fun values or something. Ooh, ooh, I'm excited. Okay. Hold on, we gotta continue the dang game. <laughs> the puzzles ahead are yet to be explained, and uh, leaving the room on your own may prove to be dangerous. Here, take this cell phone. You got the cell. If you need anything while I'm away, please... Uh, do not hesitate to call me. Uh, be good, all right? Okay. Wait, it- You replaced my config! Oh! It went into settings. And now you can insult her. That's for the rude route. Uh, the- 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 the not-so-nice route. We're gonna- Um... <laughs> uh... Say hello. <laughs> this is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello. Well then, hello. <laughs> I hope that suffices. <laughs> hello? Say hello again. Uh, salutations it is. Uh, is that enough? <laughs> uh, <laughs> are you bored? Uh, my apologies. I should have given you something to do. Uh, why not use your imagination to distract yourself? Uh, pretend you are a, a fire pi a fighter pilot, uh, twisting and twirling, doing barrel rolls at light speed. Uh, can you do that for me? <laughs> Hello, small one. Uh, I'm sorry, but I uh, I do not have much else to say. <laughs> it was nice to hear your voice, though. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Okay, about yourself. Oh, you want to know about me? More, more about me? Oh, well, I'm afraid there's not much to say. I'm but a silly old woman, uh, lady, who worries too often. If you really want to know more about me, uh, why not take a look around? I've built, or not, or at least helped to build much of what you see. Ooh, she's a builder. Ma. <laughs> mom <laughs> Huh? Did you just call me mom? Well, I, I suppose Would that make you happy to call me mother? <laughs> well, then call me whatever you like I think I went into a bit of a Into a British voice there <laughs> Mom again Oh, m again? <laughs> you are a very sweet child <laughs> But <laughs> Huh? Oh, <laughs> uh Ha! I could pinch your cheek. You could certainly find pet of an old woman like me. I wonder if it's the same as in the regular game. If you call her mom first, she's like, or if you call her, if you flirt her and then call her mom, then she's like, uh, <laughs> oh dear, are you serious? And after calling you, oh no, then she says it. <laughs> you called me mother. Well, then uh, you are a, a very interesting child. <laughs> Nah, we wouldn't up we want to insult her. That's for later. <laughs> Hello, this is Toriel. Uh, you have not left the room, have you? 
Uh, there are many dangers out there, and I do not want you to get hurt. Uh, take care of yourself, all right? Okay, let's save. The sight of weird and wonderful creatures fills you with determination. Nice. HP fully restored. Outlands entrance to Outlands rest area. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they may not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human. They just use the regular froggit uh, sprite, which is like, okay, but come on. You had all these cool sprites for them here. Might as well just flare them up a little. You barely have to edit the sprites uh, for some of them. Uh, Oculux. Well, let's check. Staring Contest Master. Family name, Eyewalker. Yep. <laughs> what an eyesore. Staring is caring. Okay. Pulling out like an amalgamate attack already. <laughs> is this... Oh no, is this game going to be harder? Because that, that, that one... I mean, that wasn't that hard. But it was a little harder than the regular ruins enemies. Um, I guess stare. Stares back harder. Becomes increasingly strained. And eventually... Oculus bows. Haha! -ha! The gaze is strong with this one. They just made the freaking. <sighs> Stare. That, that, and there. Don't tell me what to do. The gaze is strong with this one. I don't have any healing items. So. This is a little scary, but I am going to try and see what else they can do. Annoy! You rudely lecture Oculix about staring at people. How dare you question our way of life! Okay. And then, <laughs> flirt! You flirt with Oculix. How sundere of you! Oh, because I, because I insulted him first! Oh, that's, that's hilarious. That's cool, there's so much little flavor text already. Also, um, I was gonna say something. What? <laughs> you can, you, ah! <laughs> <laughs> you can flirt with every enemy in the game. Uh, the, <laughs> the heart. <laughs> Oh my, that that's funny. That that's really funny. So yeah, the the it it appears that the um that the fandom has gotten to this creator quite a bit. <laughs> that's funny. What? No no way. Oh, you have to sunder raid them first. Oh, no, 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 you don't. You don't have to. That's... Tinji. Did I get extra gold for flirting with him? Because that'd be funny. <laughs> is there... Because it's different. It makes their names pink and does the heart. Is there a different ending if you flirt with everybody? Because <laughs> that would be... That, that'd just be funny. Or, like, do they do less damage to you? Is it, like, a status effect sort of thing? Because that'd be interesting. I can't believe I've, ever, I've already been playing for 30 minutes. I'm barely through the main tutorial. I've been, I've been yapping too much. But that's that's funny. That's that's really funny. I heard you're quite funny for a human. <laughs> oh, no! They already got me! Oh. <laughs> Ugh, as you flirt with different kinds of monsters, you'll see hearts next to their names. The more types of monsters you flirt with, the more hearts you'll have. I wonder, just how far can you go? Perhaps, my friend, you could even become a legend. <laughs> what? It's, a, it's like a collectible? The more hearts you have. 
There's no, there, but there's no way to, for me to see the hearts or whatever. Oh, is it like each monster type? You've got to flirt once to collect the hearts. What? What does it do? <laughs> ah, ah, ah. I want to know. I now I gotta flirt with every monster in the dang game. <laughs> I mean, I was gonna do it anyway because I gotta see all the flavor text, but. Dang you, fandom. Oh, that's, oh, that's funny. You activate the terminal and play the incoming message. <gasps> it's Elfie's! The, found, the foundry's fluid network is falling apart again. Uh, the, the, the workers have promised a short turnaround, but uh, things are looking bleak. Well, please, uh, if anyone uh, out there can help, uh, we need you. Huh. Oh. Interesting. Oh. Ring, ring. <sighs> Hello, this is Toria. Uh, for no reason in particular, uh, do you prefer cinnamon or butterscotch? Cinnamon all the way, baby. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Nice. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll come back to this because I'm going to go this way first. Ooh, a vending machine. Please note that app uh, <laughs> appliances may be more malfunction prone than they seem. Uh oh. Synthesize something with the vending machine. Got the Delta Nine? What? Heals 5 HP. This substance is said to have highly relaxing properties. Water. And this is just free? Getting to malfunction. Oh! It's like the candy bowl. It's gonna break if I use it too much. Really? The thing that heals me the most is the water? What? What? What, what is... Delta 9, because that's Delta. That, that's the Delta symbol. What? There's a door here. It is locked. <gasps> Secret boss or something? Oh, I do love me some secrets. It's the troublesome trio. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah. Silente. Flirt. You flirt with Silente. Legion, we are Legion. What an eyesore. I can't do this. Maybe I should flirt when he's all alone. Yeah. Uh, flirt. Because they'll probably run away anyway. Unable to handle your compliments, Photoshop bursts into tears and runs away. Of course. Whoa! That's cool! They hit the... Aw, oh, man. That's awesome. Okay, it's for you. Flirt. What? No way! Uh, because I think it's... Well, I guess it's not faster than just staring but it's funny oh no it doesn't work okay the flirting has to do something right it like weakens them otherwise it's like what is this for <laughs> his eyes become str increasingly strained and eventually oculus bow oculus 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 bows <sighs> sheesh in unison now. The gaze is strong. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. It's easy. Spare. Yeah, dance time. Check. Now alone, it is joyfully expressing itself through dance. B and me is the best. It also feels seems like there's like insult for every monster in the game. Which is interesting. Is there a route where I'm just rude to everybody? Hiya. If you like if you're rude to everybody, they won't come to help you at the end of the game <laughs> or something when it, when it comes to the thing. To insult you try insulting Silente, but it's too happy to care. Mm, cha cha cha. Boom. We're gonna get all the flirting. 
I don't think I got hit at one once, but might as well save it since I got the flirts. Okay. What what was that? Uh, the the. Okay, I remember. Aha! Oh dang it! Ooh, why does it feel like some of these rooms were just made solely f to be lookout areas? <laughs> that that's funny. The view of outer space. Certainly no shortage of those around here, is there? <laughs> Dang, it's a running joke. I missed it. Um, I guess we'll start with compliment. Compliment Froggit. Froggit doesn't understand what you said. Okay, so... Oh, so you have to translate first. That makes Froggit a little harder than all the other monsters here. Threaten. Doesn't understand what you said. Okay. Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. That shouldn't have been that dangerous. Translate what you said. Seems to understand you now. Target shows no sign of fear. Okay. Okay. Flirt. You flirt with Froggit. Froggit doesn't understand what you said. No, dang it. Okay, so j just, just, just sit down here. It's not as hard as it looks. Translate. Flushing, if only on the inside. There we go. Okay. Shoot. Okay, some monsters flirting with them is good enough to get a spare condition. I would have gone for the compliment, but I need healing. I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay, there we go. And I'll go check this, because if every window's gonna have a little thing... Okay. No. Was there something... Was there a window I missed before? Or is this just... Or is the joke starting now? <laughs> ring, ring! Hello, this is Toriel. Uh, you do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Uh, would you still be satisfied if it turned up on your plate? Um, sure. It's interesting you can say yes or no to a lot of these things now. I, I wonder what, uh, what all this does. Ah, there's too many options now. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna have to play through this game like five times. Right, right, of course. Uh, carry on then. This is gonna give me so much to do, which I'm, I'm happy for. But sheesh! <laughs> the final frontier is a deep, dark sea. Before charging into the great unknown, you must wait for its currents to align. Oh! Oh, I see. They're teaching you blue and orange things early in this mod. <coughs> oh, which is a little worrying, to be honest. Ow. I just want to look at the window. Thank you. It sure is a nice view. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's easy. Uh, this one. No! <laughs> Dang it! It's randomized, too. Okay. And it's this one, right? Yes! <laughs> oh, second try! <laughs> um, ring ring. You do not uh, have any allergies, do you? Yeah, I suppose humans cannot even be allergic to monster food. Hee <laughs> hee, <laughs> forget I asked. Easy. Oh! This guy... This guy looks familiar. Who is he? Who are you? Someone speaks to me. I've been standing out here for ages. Nobody's taken my offer. I'm just looking for someone to buy this limited edition Super Star Walker comic strip. <gasps> Star Walker! <laughs> I am the original Star Walker. Interested? All I'm asking for is 10G. Sure. 
Super Star Walker 1. Splendid. Enjoy the comic strip. Back again, huh? Sorry, bud. I've got nothing left to sell. This guy looks so familiar. What is he from? Is he from Deltarune? Oh. I, I feel like I know this guy. This froggy... Or, or not frog. This turtly looking dude. Wow. Dang it. <gasps> Slice of Glide signature steak in the activities room. <gasps> it's Glide! Wait, they're doing Glide early? Hmm. Interesting. That That's probably who's gonna, who the thing is. Info? The first of a limited run of Super Star Walker comics. Let me... Let me see that. Use. <gasps> what? It's a... It's really like... Like we get a little comic? Oh, that's so cute. That's awesome. Haha! -ha! Ow! It is Delta Delta Room. <gasps> what? Kick. Drop. Oh no, he's running away. Dead end! That's right. <gasps> Newbert! End. Good job, Super Star Walker. Super Star Walker and his <laughs> and his right hand sidekick Newbert. That's awesome. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. Ooh, Twinkly. That the star might. Ooh, interesting. Or is it stair might? It's obviously supposed to be star, but it's it's spelled with a weird symbol. That's a that's the A E symbol, right? I don't know how you say the A.E. symbol. <laughs> Will one day emerge. The thought fills you with determination. A uh, determination. Or, or, wh I don't know how, I don't know how to say the A.E. symbol. I, I bet it's like some silly, silly thing. I don't know. Fluttershy. Uh, boost. To help Fluttershy fly higher into the air. Thanks you, it flies away. Oh. So they didn't, they didn't run away all spooked. Okay, we got... Oh, yes, and this is like the spider... Stairs? Okay, let me talk to all these. Fancy DJ set. Equipped with knobs and sliders galore. This is a... We got a, we got a freaking... We got a lounge? Sup, lassie? Oh, I'm a lady. Or is he just misgendering my non-binary character? <laughs> the boss man sent me out here to see what you... You country peeps are up to, you know. You could say we're expanding our enterprise. What's our enterprise, you ask? Well, it's quite simple, really. We sell steak. Wait, the boss man is Glide? Because didn't Glide mention something about steak? Hmm. Oh, wait, so this is the activities room. So... <gasps> What's in that locked door? Hmm. And this ain't the replicated stuff. Ah, oh, no. Nah. This stuff is real, yo. Anyone who says otherwise is a poser, you feel me? What? <laughs> that being said, why don't you check out what's for sale? Okay. It's labeled... <clears throat> Sizzly Steak. And costs 20 gold. It smells like hyperbole. <laughs> hyperbole. Wait a sec. So, what about Muffet? God, I don't know anything about Outer Tail. I'm so excited to learn. Wait, does that mean Glide swapped with Muffet? Oh, well, I guess I could see why Muffet is a fan character that just got in the game. So I, I could see why Muffet's not in this game. Also, certain things about Muffet. But, um, yeah, I, I suppose that makes sense. But wait, no, Glide is also a fan character. So I guess they just don't like Muffet, which I, I, can, I suppose I can understand if, if that stuff is true. But it's like, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. No, Glide is also a fan character. <laughs> By the Sizzly Steak. Uh, yes. Dang it. Not enough money, huh? That's alright, Lassie. Just be sure to come back when you've got some. It's labeled Fizzly Soda. Cost 5G. Who would buy this? Boom. Careful, it's sweet. Info. 8 HP. Sickly dark yellow liquid. Yet, interestingly enough, even though Frisk hates it, 
It heals better than whatever the heck Delta 9 is. I'm sad. The food these days just gets worse and worse. It was pro I was promised something real, but all I got was a cheap copy. Hey, quit badmouthing my shop in front of the customers. Besides, what if your sense of taste is to blame? Typical. It is what it is. There's a backpack strung up on the coat rack. You look inside the backpack. What's this? A limited. Whoa! Another Star Walker, Star Walker comic, comic strip. Ooh, nice. And a, a hole? Halo. I suppose, yeah. You don the halo. Now I take up the worn spacesuit. Heels. What? <laughs> In the regular game, it made sense because it it was abandoned. The worn spacesuit heals 20 HP. Wh wh huh? How does that do that? <laughs> Excuse me. How how does that heal you? You're not telling me you're eating the spacesuit. <laughs> what? Gosh, my inventory is almost already full. Uh oh. <laughs> Super Star Walker two. Star Walker two. Gum. They're in Cyber City now, or not? Help! My great treasure is gone. Come to the Cyber World. Okay, no, they're going to the Cyber World. This is Star Walker's house. Nice. Hey. Bagels? We he went east. Let's go. A trial. My cotton candies. Uh, hey, every <laughs> Spamton stole his cotton candy. Uh, wait. Whoa. <laughs> Just freaking beating up Spamton. <laughs> Lost. <laughs> we got the candy back. Cotton candy back. That's. This is funny. Take to the comic strip. No, I have to chew. Yes. Oh, it was a healing. Dang it. So I could actually use this to heal, unlike the first one. Dang, dang it. Okay, I need some money for this steak because I want all the items. Even though I'm getting full on items, which is... Why are there so many different items? <laughs> I just want one of every item, but ev there's like so many. Oh, I guess not in this room. This room? I need to spare more people. I need money. Oh no! <laughs> Mold small's not easy in this game. Whoa, 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 why, why do some of them do that? Oh, it's already. <laughs> oh, oh no! I, I was, I was thinking of the wrong one. Gelatini, check. Stereotypical, <laughs> curvaceously attractive, but no brains. <laughs> Blorb. That, that's, that's silly. Uh, pat. You have gelatini. A nice pat. Its body changes color. It, it's Gelatini's happy color. Heat the swarm. Oh, okay. Whew. Oh, it's when the bubbles hit it. I was like, why are they running at me? Flirt. You wiggle your hips. Gelatini wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. Sexy wiggle. <laughs> Shoo, sheesh. Yeah, 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 do the dance. Nice. Also, I think you're getting a lot more gold in this in this game rather than a uh, base Undertale. Slick choice, Lassie. By the way, we're out of stock. Seems you can't get enough of our stuff. Say, if. Uh, no, when you meet the boss man, tell him this. I whisper something in your ear. Good luck out there, lassie. Huh. Interesting. How good is this? 
It's 14 HP. Questionable. <laughs> zzz, zzz, zzz. Oh. There it is. Okay. After an absolute book battle, we'll reset for the next video for YouTube. This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Try to walk through it? Yeah. Also, I like that he was floating on the overworld. It's cool. Uh, check. Napstablook. Attack 10, defense 255. <laughs> Woo, uh, it's Napstablook. That's me. Technically, he should have infinite defense, since he can't take damage. Actually, no, technically he should have, like, zero defense, because he's just incorporeal. Staring off into the distance. Um, also, I love these bullet patterns. They're so cool. Also, this music? Flirt. Flirt with Master Blurt. I just weigh you down. It's so fun. It's so twinkly. Cheer. With a patient smile. Oh. Oh. Interesting. I like this way better than the regular one in Undertale because honestly, that one Napsablook attack is way unfair. <laughs> uh, like, why is it so unfair in the regular game? You tell Napsablook a little joke. <laughs> Just to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dapperblook. Ooh, fancy. Do you like it? Well, I got. You know what I gotta do. Flirt. Flirtatiously comment on Napsablook's top hat. <laughs> Thanks. I usually visit this place to get some peace and quiet. But today I met someone nice. Did I get a heart for that? I better have gotten a heart for that. Well, I'll get out of your way now. See ya. Anyway. That's a good stopping point. We got halfway through the first thing and... God, an hour's worth of video. I can't believe it took me this long. But we're going through all the fun side stuff. Because I want to do that. I like doing side stuff. Um... But yeah, anyway. That is it for this video. Uh, not for the stream. The stream is going to keep going till I get tired. And then we're going to do pack openings. So stay tuned for pack openings. Um, but uh, yeah, for you guys on YouTube, see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.